Hi, welcome to uh, Far Cry 4. We're going to do Propaganda Machine, the first watchtower, but first Savan. Give him some morphine and turn off that fucking radio! What happened to him? He fell. Pagan floods the airways and we have to enjoy his bullshit. Enough is enough! I told him to climb up the old bell tower, take over the transmitters, hijack the broadcast locally. Except... I can do it. Way to step up, brother. There's nobody guarding it, but it's a tricky climb. Promise me you won't fall. I promise. I won't. So, uh, we've got to climb a watchtower and switch off the radio to stop the propaganda. It starts with the zip line, which is kind of fun. There's a glider right nearby, although I think it's been disabled in this mission. Um, but I use it in the next one to get to Longinus, who's actually pretty funny. Um, the elbows of everyone's been freaking me out. I've really been enjoying their faces and their movement and their realistic limbs, but their elbows start to really upset me. Um, Apologies if that draws your eye, but I thought I'd point it out. Anyway, I jumped in the car, used the wrong button, saw a quad bike, thought I'd get on that, and then the trader dude gets run over, and I'm like, what? They just ran him over? That seems harsh at best. Uh, so I went and frisked him, but he had uh, came up with inventory. inventory. Uh, so I thought, well, that's probably just a bug. Uh, but it turned out it was just a bit of paper worth like a hundred rupees or I don't know, credits. I don't know, whatever they're using here. <coughs> Money is, excuse me, coughing. Money is uh, pretty, like I've upgraded my wallet once, I can carry 500,000, I think, and I've filled it up twice without any real effort. Um, all those you probably know from watching me, I kind of, as soon as I see a chest on the map, I go chasing. But this mission involves uh, climbing to the top of the watchtower. You have to investigate this accident site, and you find a grappling hook, which then, after some faffing, I realize I need to hook up here because it's actually pointing to where I need to go. And grappling works exactly the same as climbing in the prologue mission, just you control where it goes. I thought maybe I've got to pick it up here, but no, it looks like you just grab it automatically. Um, and then it's a swing over here, which is kind of fun. There we go. Wee, ah, yeah, yeah, like Tarzan. <laughs> and then climbing up there. Um, and then there's another like double swing. Uh, it's a little bit like the Zelda double hook shot. I'm swapping weapons there because I seem to remember in Far Cry 3 if you pick up a weapon that someone's carrying and take it to a trade post, it unlocks it um, without you having to pay. Although again money isn't a problem, like I've just had to buy all the maps to try and burn my money. Uh, yeah, anyway, uh, there's a swing here, you see the X hooking up here. There it is. Um, so you can grapple on again and there's a couple of guys up here who are chattering away like, I'll find you, and on the mini-map you can see them there. And then it pops up here and goes, shoot the beehive, to kill nearby enemies. And I'm like, what beehive? But looking back at this, it's like it couldn't have been more obvious. Uh, and I should have really used the camera here to see how they got damaged when I shot the beehive. I've also unlocked a signature weapon, I'm not sure if it was a pre-order reward, or a season pass reward, or a Uplay reward, or I can't remember, I just unlocked a bunch of stuff. Um, but it's like, I guess, the shadow from the first game. Um, suppressor, silencer, let's not get into that whole argument again. Magazine size is about 10, I think. Um, just looting these guys. And then it's up this watchtower. There's also a propaganda poster and you need to rip these down. I think that's the first one I get. Yeah, one out of 150. Lordy me. Next bonus in three or something, or two? It says at the top in a second. Anyway, I'm on my knees here, I don't know if you can make it out on the minimap, but there's sort of a, what looks like a bit of a red dot. And here's the guide for bell towers. Uh, removes the fog, and the map's actually pretty cool. But, um, yeah, no, I'm crouching a lot here, so I've sped it up quite a lot. I also took a skill there, but I didn't think you needed to see it. It was knife takedown, or loot takedown, one or the other. Um, and then, yeah, there we go, smashing this. But yeah, no, I'm convinced there's a bad guy up here, so I'm trying to be quiet. Turns out there wasn't. And then this is a bit misleading, this uh, log here I was thinking that sticks out. I'll look at it in a second there. 
I thought maybe I had to jump across, but no, you just go around the side. I was in two minds whether or not to cut my faffing on this, and in a couple of places I do, especially one at the top where I was just running in circles for about three minutes, right next to the ladder, <laughs> like a fool. But uh, head around and up here, and then when you see bars like this, you may remember if you watched the Wolf's Den mission, you just smash them. There's one above me that I haven't noticed there. There we are. And then it's a climb here, and then I think around here there's a chest which I dropped down to get. There we go. And then it's a little run back, and you can't jump up there. <laughs> Silly AJ. Is that his name? I've forgotten already. AJ? Ave? <laughs> See? Bad with names. It's like Janie Sparks from Borderlands 2. Janie Sp it's not Janie Sparks, Janie Springs. Anyway, around here. And then there's another little climb. And there is the ladder. And there's a couple of chests on this level, which is, to be fair, why I was faffing, but uh, there was a good few minutes. So I just cut it to climbing my ladder. And there we are, at the top. Uh, there's another chest up there, which I go and grab now, I think. See, and I'm still on my knees, convinced that there's someone up here. But there isn't. Chests are weird as well. They're like their their traction point on them. You've got to be way over them rather than looking at them. It's very confusing. Um, which is why I think I missed one in the first level. Anyway, over to here. <laughs> Not to here. To here. And much like Far Cry 3, you smash up the radio tower, the radio signal. Douche. Pull. Uh, and then just for good measure, switch it off because obviously it's still working after that. So I thought that flyby was kind of fun. Um, the map is really pretty looking too, and the animals are integrated much uh, more nicely. That's not much better. Much They just feel like part of the map, which is cool. So then I had a look at craftables to work out what I needed to get, uh, and set a target for some barats or boo booms or something, I don't know, something nearby. Uh, and then used the zip line. There we are. And that's where I'm headed next. Uh, I've gone a bit of a crafting frenzy now. But just in this house, there is a mission there uh, to pick up some bits and pieces and deliver them, which is kind of fun, some crazy driving. So I'll show you that in the next one. Uh, anyway, on the left, bird attack. Uh, while I'm crafting, I'll uh, do some videos for that. And on the right, uh, the wolf's den, which is, I think, the first optional mission from a meter. Anyway, I hope that was interesting. I will see you in the next one. Bye!